Hi, uh, my name is Steven and um, I noticed a lack of tutorials on YouTube for uh, an online application called Splitwise and it's uh, truly uh, changed my roommate situation for the better. Um, this is an online application that allows you to split all of your expenses, anything from rent to utilities, uh, even when you and uh, another roommate or two other roommates go out to eat. It allows you to uh, to log all of that and um, make everything transparent so that there's no tension and there's no uh, there aren't any fights uh, with your roommate situation. Um, I have used many different uh, applications like this. I've used Bill Monk. Um, I have used iou.co.uk. Splitwise um, is free and it is by far the best one in my opinion. Um, so I thought that. Um, I would walk you guys through um, how to use the application um, since there are no other tutorials out there. Um, I've read many blogs and many postings from um, different roommates in, in different roommate situations, uh, whether they be with friends or, or people that, um, or situations where you don't know each other. Um, oftentimes, unless everything is transparent, everything is uh, carefully kept track of it can turn into a very nasty situation. Um, and for me, in my roommate situation, this application really, um, it solved everything. So I, I wanted to share this with you. Um, it's called Splitwise, and the website is splitwise, S-P-L-I-T-W-I-S-E.com. Um, it's totally free. Uh, there's an iPhone app as well as an Android app. Um, it also does push notifications. Uh, there's an RSS feed, and it will even send out email reminders. It allows you to settle uh, settle your debts with each other with cash uh, or with credit card or checking account via PayPal, which is nice. Um, so I already have an account established, um, and I actually was going to start from scratch, um, but I'm using a software called Camtasia to record this, and I didn't have it set up right, so I already created a new account and I don't have another email address I can use so I'm just gonna jump right in with the um, with with my existing account so so when you go to uh, splitwise.com if you're not already a member it's easy you click on sign up orange button at the top uh, or get started now uh, down at the bottom it'll ask you for your name um, it will ask you for your roommates names and their email addresses <clears throat> so it will automatically send them invitations as well um, it'll allow, it will allow you to link up with your Google Plus account um, or Facebook and I think Twitter as well. Um, so I'm just going to log in here. So in my situation or my circumstance, I have uh, myself as well as three additional roommates. Um, and what this software does is uh, really it keeps track of everything. Um, and it makes it very easy to report, to pay each other back. Um, and depending on your situation and whether your roommates are savvy with with stuff like this, or in my in my case, I actually end up doing a lot of the maintenance and a lot of the logging, which is fine. Um, I, I can tell you that since we've started using this, we're all much better friends because of it. So, if you've ever had any sort of tiffs or taffs with with your roommates, I would uh, strongly encourage you to try this out. In my next video. I'll show you a second uh, application that we use. Um, so we use a total of two applications. One is called Splitwise, and that's for logging all of our expenses. And that goes from toilet paper to uh, paper towels to electric bill uh, to even when a, a, you know a roommate and I go out for drinks. Um, and the second application is called Chore Buster, and basically it allows you to list all the chores in the household, and the, you set a difficulty level for each of those chores, and it automatically splits. Um, the chores up week over week so every week you know everyone has different chores and it, and it ensures that everyone has a fair uh, fair amount of chores to do so um, so this video is about splitwise so I'll get started with that so when you first log in you'll, you'll see a dashboard here um, obviously you won't see any of, of this when you first do it um, but I'm actually in a position to uh, go ahead and, and uh, log some expenses for this upcoming month so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so basically if you have a bill, a utility, whatever it is you just come in you click on add a bill um, I personally like to use well wait a minute let's add a bill
So when you first log in, you can have different groups here. So I choose uh, my group is called it's the address of where we live. So so you click on the group. You may have different groups for different reasons. Um, then I choose add a bill. Um, and so right off the bat, it asked me, you know, what is this for? So um, this is actually I'm going to log the rent uh, upcoming rent for January. So I'm going to put rent. And I always always like to keep everything fairly consistent. So I like to choose the um, what it is. So rent with it followed by a dash, uh, and then the month of the year this is for. Just in case in the future, if there's ever any disputes or God forbid someone tries to take you to court or whatever, uh, this is all docu well documented. So rent January 2014. Happy New Year. Um, and then I'll put the amount. In my case, it's $1,050. So here you can actually change these, but it automatically defaults to whoever's logging the expense. It's going to say that you paid it. Um, so you can change that, obviously, to whoever paid it. And then under split equally, you can click that. And you can choose who it's split with. So this also works well for, like I said earlier, if you and a roommate goes out for drinks and one of you paid for something and the other, you know, whatever the case is. Um, you can also log those in here so that it affects only you and someone else and not the entire group, which is great. It's one of the reasons I like this um, this over some of the other ones that are out there. So 1050 it's paid for by me, split equally, which uh, comes out to $350 per person. Make sure that's right. So it's 350 times. Oh, okay, never mind. I actually just got a new roommate, but they have not accepted the invite yet, so it's not allowing me to, but I'm going to go forward anyway. So... Um, so, rent, uh, January 2014, 10.50, paid for by me. I want it to be split equally. Uh, here you can put the date. In the case of the rent, um, you can list things that are uh, going to be different every month, or in the case of the rent, I can actually choose right here, when I choose the date, it says choose the date repeats just this once or I can actually set this so that it does it weekly, bi-weekly, monthly or yearly. Uh, so in my case it's monthly. Uh, and then this is great because let's say the rent's due on the first and you have to write a check and send the rent out. So you need everyone else's rent or, you know, a week in advance or whatever. So you can have this software automatically send a reminder to everyone. They'll get it via push notification if they have downloaded the app. Uh, they'll also get it via email and if they're subscribed to the RSS feed they'll get it that way as well. So in this case I'll say uh, I would like a reminder to be sent out one week in advance. Um, if it is a utility, like an electric bill or a gas bill, if you click on Add Image or Notes, you can actually upload a PDF file here um, or an image file. It'll take any any sort of image file, um, bitmaps, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, whatever. Uh, and then my, we didn't use this at first, but as several months went by and someone, a few people questioned, you know, why was, was the electric bill really $250 or whatever? Uh, it was, it was very handy, I could, you know, because they can actually click, click the uh, bill in question and they can actually see the actual bill for themselves. So, you know, that, that may or may not uh, be right for you. But um, in my case, it worked out well for me to actually scan the bills. It only takes a few extra seconds. So that's available to you as well. Uh, and then, so I just click add. So here we have rent, January uh, 2014. It's a recurring bill. I paid $1,050. I lent out $700 because I paid it, and $350 was my part, which is subtracted automatically. And then over here on the side, it, it group balances. It'll say, who owes me what? Uh, and, and this you know, this will continue on. Um, hopefully, you won't have uh, someone that owes you that much money. But um, in my case, I agreed to let someone move in without a deposit, and they were sort of getting on their feet, and so that's why they owe me that much money. Um, you can also click on full details. Uh, you can send a reminder to each person, or if you're the person that logs in and owes someone else money, you can click on settle up, and it will allow you to either record a cash payment or send someone a payment via PayPal. And depending on how you have your PayPal set up, that could be with cat or with a credit card, debit card, uh, checking account, gift cards, and whatever else they have out there. Um, also, you can click on View Printable Summary, and you'll see here that it'll list the entire group's expenses, and then it'll break it down for each person. So this might be helpful for someone that's uh, you know trying to track everything and figure out where their money's going. Um, uh, what else here? Um, up here at the top, uh, you can see balances. You can see upcoming bills, if there's anything that you put in here that's in advance. You can also see trends. 
uh, as well as charts that show you, um, uh, in our case, rent takes up the a substantial portion of the total uh, amount logged. Um, you can see spending breakdown for each month. Um, you can also see, uh, you can also do a whiteboard. So you can just log, you can log whatever. Uh, in my case, I actually, if I scroll down through here, um, so you can see the little bubbles here that means there's a note attached. So notes, Chrissy paid for my McDonald's chicken egg egg meal. So I like to get very specific just in case someone decides to conveniently forget something. Uh, I like to keep very explicit notes about exactly, you know, what was paid for or what was given. Chrissy gave me a pack of cigarettes. I'm not going to quit smoking. Um, so you can log notes for each one. You can view printable summaries for each month. It automatically sends out all the reminders for you. It will allow you to split it between one or more people. It will allow you to split uh, something that I didn't show a minute ago. If you click on add bill, um, here you can click on this and change the category. So you can uh, categorically see in the charts and uh, reports, you can see where the money's going, who's spending what on what. Um, and under settings, we can edit the group settings, send a balance reminder for those that owe us, um, owe us money. We can add people to our group. We can simplify debts. We do not do this in our household, but basically uh, I'll just highlight this and show, the, show you whether, what the example that they give. If I were to owe Anna $10, and Anna owes Bob ten dollars. If I had simple de simplified debts turned on, it will tell me to pay Bob ten dollars directly. I personally don't like this option because you know the relationship that I have with Bob may be different than the relationship that I have with Anna, and so I don't want to involve everybody in everybody's business. So I, I keep that turned off. You know, to each his own. If that's something that makes sense for your group, then by all means, um, you utilize that. Um, this will link up with your Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus, like I said before. It will import uh, the pictures. Um, there's also another. So in my household, there are actually two bedrooms. Uh, I'm sorry, there are three three bedrooms, two of which are on the lower level. One of one of them is the entire upstairs. The entire upstairs has several windows. It has multiple walk-in closets. Um, Plus, it's a lot more private because there's a door that leads up, you know, to the stairs. And so the person staying up there can actually shut the door and that entire upstairs is theirs. So I was uh, I was challenged to try to figure out, you know, how much was all of that extra space and privacy and the extra window, uh, the extra lighting, the daytime lighting worth. So um, Splitwise has an, a section called Fairness Calculators, which I found very handy. Um, they have, you know, how should you split your rent in your new apartment? Um, what would be a fair tax code? I haven't used that one. If you're buying or selling furniture, staying at a friend's place, loud neighbors, going on a trip with friends. Uh, this is one I was referring to, split, split wise rent splitting calculator. So how much is the monthly rent? So I put in the monthly rent here is 1050. How many bedrooms are there? Like I said before, there are three in my house. Uh, so then it asks you to name the one. So I'm just going to say, um, Downstairs, downstairs one, downstairs two, and we'll say upstairs. So ask you a series of questions. So the downstairs one is, it's honestly they're a bit small, uh, both of them are. So I'll say a bit small on both. One of the downstairs bedrooms has no windows at all. So I'll say none. Um, it actually has no closet either, so none. Uh, in my situation, the room, one of these rooms is actually shared by two people. Uh, does not have any of that. It is bad sound isolation. It is an awkward layout. On the second room, we'll say a bit small. Windows, normal. Closet, normal. Room is shared by two people. Um, we'll leave the rest like that. The upstairs, awesome windows. It's enormous. It's the entire upstairs of the house. Closets are huge. Uh, the room is shared by two people. Uh, and so then we click next. How big are the common spaces? In my particular house we have almost 3,000 square feet so they're pretty large. I mean I, I don't know. I'll just say large. Uh, and then I'll click calculate. So here it tells me that the downstairs, the first downstairs bedroom should be worth $240.49 total or $120 per person. The second bedroom should be worth 
uh, should be priced at 297.96 or 148. And the upstairs should be 511. Um, and then they have, if you click on the blog post here, it will, because I had some roommates ask me how did they come up with this. So there is a long, long blog list based on thousands and thousands of respondents. Um, and this is how they came up with, you know, how much are extra windows worth? How much is extra closet space worth? Um, I use this. Um, if your household has a standard three bedrooms, you may not need to. If there's a master bedroom involved, I would definitely, I would definitely use that because the person with the master bedroom, even if they're the, even if they're the owner of the house, I honestly think that the person with the private bathroom, the person with the biggest bedroom, I think they should pay more. Uh, and I don't think that that person that owns the house should necessarily anticipate, you know, everyone else paying the same amount, all equally. Um, so I encourage you to check that out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So in my next video, I will show you. Um, a website called Chore Buster, which is great, um, lets you split everyone's chores equally amongst all of the roommates that are in your household. Um, I will show you very quickly. It takes a few minutes to set this up. Uh, it allows you to print this out in Word, Excel, on the web. Um, have check boxes next to each chore so that each person can check the, check it off. Um, I like to do four weeks at a time. Um, I'll just show you one uh, really quickly. So once this is all set up, every week, two weeks, three or four weeks, it will go ahead and put the, per the each, each roommate's name here at the top, and it will show you each day the different chores that, that it has to do. It allows you to split chores between two people if it's something that's you know takes a lot of extra time or, or extra effort, like uh, taking down the trash to the road. We have we happen to have split between two people, um, and we chose to use to do, instead of saying clean entire house and split that up, we chose to use very um, chores that can be done in 10 or 15 minutes or so. So, so it wouldn't take up uh, everyone's time and it wouldn't make you sweat necessarily. Um, but I will show you that from start to finish uh, in my next video. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks.